there is passage of scripture I want to call your attention to. We are still in the gospel according to Mark. Um, Mark's gospel chapter 15. And prayerfully if you give me about 16 minutes. We'll be out of here. We'll see. Amen. Mark chapter 15. Uh, I'll commence reading at verse 33. Mark chapter 15, beginning with verse 33. been here in the book of Mark for a few weeks now. And, um, we're certainly grateful to all that God has shown us in this gospel. Mark chapter 15, beginning with verse 33. When you have it, could you respond by saying amen? amen. If you don't have it yet, say, hold up, preacher. I hear you. Mark chapter 15, beginning with verse 33. In the English Standard Version, you will find these words recorded. And when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, Behold, he is calling Elijah. And someone ran and filled a sponge with sour wine and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw that this was he, the, the way he breathed his last, he said, truly, this man was the son of God. I want to focus on that 39th verse. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way he breathed his last. He said, truly, this man was the son of God. You may be seated in God's presence. Truly, this man was the son of God. Truly. This man was the son of God. I want to talk for a few moments that are eyes together from this simple subject. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, there are some things in life that we have no doubt about. If you keep living, no doubt you'll get sick. If you keep living, no doubt you'll run into some financial problems. If you go to school, if you go to college, no doubt you'll have fights with the financial aid office. might have some issues with certain professors. That's expected. It's, it's, it's expected to happen. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that in this life we will have tribulations. That, that, that we all will have certain things happen to us that we don't necessarily want to happen to us. There will come times in life where you will find yourself in life's degrading dungeons of despair. 
There are times in life when you'll find yourself at the bar stool having a personal pity party. Can I keep it real today? There are times in life where you'll find yourself trying to cover up your insecurities. There's no doubt about that. You, you, that that's human nature. That's a part of life. That's a part of what we do. That's a part of how we are wired. In this life, there are certain things that we don't have any doubt about. If you pull out on Silver Hill Road, going towards Suitland Parkway, and you're going 65 miles an hour, there is no doubt that that speed camera will take a picture of your car and you'll get a nice present from the Prince George's County Police Department with your name on it, no doubt. There's, there's no doubt that if you do not take care of yourself, if you do not keep up with your hygiene and keep up with things uh, uh, that are necessary for you to live a fulfilled life, then you will find yourself in the doctor's office. Find yourself in the dentist chair and they'll say to you that you've got to change the way you're doing things or else. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. There, there, there's no doubt that if you keep coming to church, if you keep showing up when the doors are opened, you keep coming to church, there's no doubt that at some point you're going to feel something that you cannot explain. There's no doubt about it. How do I know that? I know that because that's the way God operates. That if you allow yourself to spend some time with the Lord, then the Lord will no doubt show up in your life and do things that you cannot clearly explain. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt. There, there are certain things in life that, 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 that really we have no doubt about. If you're engaged to be married, saying that because there's a few of them in here today, then I assure you, things will change once you say, I do. There's no doubt about that. If you're an only child like me, you get married, you've got to learn something that you perhaps never learned in your life. Learn how to share. no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it that there are some things in life that we know that there is no doubt about. That's not the case with Jesus. The reality is that the majority of people during Jesus' time did not believe that Jesus was the Son of God. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, 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 we believe that, that, that they did because we read the Gospels and we see Jesus is the main attraction of the Gospels. But, but Jesus is the main attraction for a small amount of people. In comparison to, to the global politics of the day, Jesus is, is, is a, 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 an opening act of sorts. If you were to, to, to pay a ticket to go to this concert, Jesus might not be the headliner. Yeah. But he's still the show. Yeah. You'll you get that when you get home. He may not be the headliner, but he's still the show. Uh, see, 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 Jesus was a unique individual. 
And even in these last hours, as he's hanging on the cross, he says, cries out to God, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Even in these last hours, there are still those, even at the foot of the cross, that do not believe. If you don't believe me, you can ask some that were closest to him. You can ask Peter. Peter was his boy. Even Peter denied the Lord in these last few moments. Perhaps he allowed the fear of what could happen to him affect uh, 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 how he responded to folks when they asked, don't you know this man Jesus? That's Thomas. Thomas had a little, little doubting issue. Uh, Thomas, Thomas was doubting even at this moment because we don't hear anything about Thomas being there with his Lord and Savior. We already know what happened to Judas. We know how that story plays out. And, and so here's Jesus on the cross. People all around. Yet he's by himself in this moment with his God. By himself with the Father. By himself on the cross. Yes, there are those hanging with him. But he's the only one that's there for a particular purpose. And mission that is beyond what's going on on the surface. He's the only one with a higher calling in that moment. He's the only one on the cross because of a divine directive from the Lord. He's the only one there with this distinct mission. Jesus is there on the cross and, 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 and it's when he breathes his last that this soldier, this centurion soldier, says surely or truly this man was the son of God. It's a great statement. I'm grateful for it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm grateful for it. I, our AV folks, they came and asked me earlier this morning, they said, Pastor, how, how should it read uh, should we say he has risen or he is risen? I said, we should say he is risen. Yeah. Now, let me say why he is as opposed to why he not had. Y'all get that too. Y'all, you know. <laughs> See, he has risen would mean that he rose. And that's it. He is risen, means that he rose, and he still is rising. This centurion says, surely, this man was the son of God. I, I, I've got a problem with that. Got a problem with that because Jesus does not cease. To be the son of God when he dies. And, and, and see, the, the centurion utters this statement of surety. Others utters this statement of, 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 of having no doubt of the fact that Jesus was the son of God. I, I, I combed through o, o, over 30 translations trying to figure out, is this just a typo in this version or, or is there, are there other versions that says he is the son of God? No, no, every version in Mark's account says surely he was the son of God. Uh, I believe the reason why the centurion could only say surely he was the son of God is because the centurion was not a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, oh yeah, he followed Jesus' press release. He followed all the things that Jesus had done. He had seen it in the papers and all of these things. But this centurion was an employee of the state. 
He was employed by the state. He was employed by the state to do whatever the king said to do. To do whatever the emperor said to do. To do whatever Rome said to do. And, and, and because of that, he allowed his politics to get in the way of the potential of having a personal relationship with Jesus. And that's a danger for all of us today. We cannot allow our politics to get in the way of us having an authentic personal relationship with Jesus. We cannot allow the things that go on in our lives to get in the way of us having an authentic personal relationship with Jesus. We cannot allow what goes on on the job to get in the way of us having an authentic personal relationship with Jesus. We cannot allow the things that go on in our homes to get in the way of us having an authentic personal relationship with Jesus. We cannot allow the things that go on. I don't care if it's the Super Bowl. I don't care if it's March Madness. I don't care if it's the Final Four. I don't care if it's the NBA playoffs. We cannot allow anything to get in the way of us having an authentic personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And I wonder today if there's anybody here that knows that if you have an authentic relationship Relationship with Jesus Christ then you know that he not was but he if that centurion only had an authentic relationship then his statement would not be contradictory the reason his statement doesn't measure up is because of that linking verb was uh, 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 when he says was, then he places limitations on the potential of our Christ. When he says was, he places limitations on how far the Lord can reach. When he says was, he places limitations on God's power and on God's uh, uh, purpose in Jesus' life. When he says was, he's placing limitations even on himself. Because if Jesus died and that was the end of the story, then the centurion might not have access to the tree of life. If Jesus had died and that was the end of the story, you and I would not have access to the tree of life. And so I come to you simply to say this today, that there should be no doubt in your mind that Jesus lived. How do you know he lived? I know that he lived because I, I, I've read about the things that he's done in the biblical text. I've seen him heal uh, the sick. I've seen him raise the dead. I've read about him uh, 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 giving sight to the blind. I've read about him unstopping deaf ears. I've read about him giving voice to those who were voiceless. I read about him healing a woman who had an issue of blood. I read about him uh, raising Lazarus from the dead. I heard about him and blind Bartimaeus. I heard about him and all that he has done for all sorts of people. So I have no doubt in my mind that he lived. But not only do I know that he lived, I know that he died. How do I know he died? Because the biblical account says that he was arrested and thrown into prison. The biblical account says that he was marched from judgment hall to judgment hall. In other words, he was in this courtroom on Monday and that courtroom on Tuesday, this courtroom on Wednesday, that courtroom on Thursday and nobody could convict him of any crime and the Bible says that Pilate put him out before the people and said do you want to uh, crucify Jesus or do you want to crucify Barabbas and the people pointed to Jesus and said crucify him and so he's going to the cross and he has not been convicted but he's going to the cross because the state says that he's going to the 
the cross and I wonder if anybody knows anybody that is a victim of the state saying you're going to the cross we don't care if we've got solid evidence you're going to the cross we don't care if you have the conviction where you're going to the cross why are you going to the cross because you're not like us why are you going to a cross because you look too big too brass and too bold why are you going to the cross because you don't live in the right part of town and so we're coming to arrest you and take you to the cross and they lead Jesus up the Via Dolorosa to a hill called Golgotha and on that hill called Calvary they hung him high they stretched him wide they put nails in his hands they put a spike in his feet they put a crown of thorns around his head they pierced him in his side the Bible says that on that cross he died surely he died surely he died so I have no doubt that he lived I have no doubt that he died the old preacher would say he died all night Friday night he died all day Saturday he died all night Saturday night he died till the moon dripped red with blood he died till the veil in the temple was torn in two he died he died he died long enough to go into hell preach a revival and return with the keys he died didn't he die he died he died but not only do i have no doubt that he died the bible says on the third day he got up with all power in his hands so yes i have no doubt he lived i have no doubt he died but i have no doubt he lives again is there anybody here you don't have a doubt in your mind for god i live for god i die for god i live for god i die i'll serve him i'll serve him i'll serve him i'll serve him say yes say yes say yes say yes say yes oh yes i love the lord he heard my cry and pity every groan long as i live and trouble rise no doubt about it i'll hasten i'll hasten i'll hasten to his throne i have no doubt in my mind there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from emmanuel's veins and sinners lunge beneath that blood no doubt about it lose all thy guilt and stain i have no doubt no doubt no doubt no doubt i believe i believe i believe say yes say yes say yes say yes say yes yeah 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 oh yeah no doubt no doubt no doubt 